A lot of a lot of people in MMA, or I shouldn't say MMA, but a lot of people try MMA and boxing or combat sports as a way to maybe make it out of their neighborhood or make it out of the community they're in, not with the most privileged life or growing up having it hard. What do you think made it so successful for you making it out that most you know most of these people try it and it doesn't work as well for them? Yeah, I think for me it's like coming in, I kind of had, had like a little edge from like being in these crazy situations, like like being get, getting in a fight with your cellmate type shit, you know, and like, so I guess to this day people say that like I kind of, I'm kind of like uncomfortable, I mean comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Mm. And coming in, I was already kind of good. Mm-hmm. You know, I already had like a lot of street fights in and I just had like just little edge that no one else had, you know, and, and honestly, I never been good at anything in my life. You know, I never, I was always just, in and out of jail, I like broke as shit, you know, and I found something like that I truly liked because before of it, I was just a fucking a true fan. I I got like I obsessed over this shit, you know. Mm-hmm. And then at the time I was just going to uh LA Fitness, they're just doing hitting weights. And little by little I started hitting the bag on my own and and throwing kicks, elbows and shit. So when I when I finally went to a gym, I was I already had like a little idea of what I, what was going on and shit. But I just wanted to box. I actually have two pro boxing, two pro boxing fights um, in the beginning of my career. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I went to an MMA gym and uh, I remember it started off like the Muay Thai coach was like, hey, you should, you should jump in my class. You should take my class. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't really. And then I sparred one of these fools and they kicked me. I'm like, oh shit, this is crazy. And then the <laughs> jiu-jitsu coach used to see me around. He's like, hey, you should, you should jump in my class. And then the MMA coach. So little by little, I just, I just, I just, you know, veered more towards MMA instead of boxing. Do you, do you find that it's easier to do MMA than fight on the streets? Um, shit. For me, it was like kind of safer, you know, you know, because yeah. on the streets, you don't know. Dudes can't take an ass whooping these days, you know. Like right. you, you never, you never know what's gonna happen, or like you know, get stabbed or some shit, you know. So right. you never know. So um, I actually look at MMA as like safe you know it's like a one-on-one fight there's a ref if something goes wrong right. there's a ref right there that's gonna stop it you know and right. and and in the street shit or or in jail whatever you never know what the fuck that's, that's what i feel i think that's probably one thing that added to your success because like bear said a lot of people try and they don't they don't make it you know especially make it to the big shows and when i started fighting you know i grew up fighting on the streets in memphis people love to fight and i used to i i've been fighting ever since i was little i got a cousin that's like um uh, RIP right now, but he um he was six months younger than me, and my mama uh, told me my first time fighting him we was in Pampas, and and we just grew up fighting each other. I probably I probably fought him myself over a thousand times over the years, you know, and 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 sometimes he just grab anything and hit you with it. You don't got to worry about that in MMA, you know. I've been yeah. jumped before. You beating up somebody, somebody come and beat you up. Uh, hit you from the back. I remember one time I, I was getting jumped and I slammed this dude. And I, I never wrestled before, but I was sprawling so he couldn't couldn't roll me over. I didn't know it was just natural. And somebody came and kicked me in the nuts while I was sprawling <laughs> from the back. And none of my boys jumped in. None of my boys helped me. Damn. Nah, my boys have been all over that nah, shit. Nah, man. Yeah. I mean, you you grew up, you didn't have the easiest upbringing. What do you think the biggest difference is between a street fight and an MMA fight? Because I sent you a reel. This is a true story. Actually, I sent you a reel like four in the morning a few weeks ago with this guy talking about how MMA is not as oh, deadly, yeah. remember? And you were like, oh, it's kind of true. It's kind of true. It was though. a unique reel, so I don't want to go too deep into it. It's like a two minute reel or something. Yeah. What is the biggest difference between a street fight and a UFC fight? Okay, yeah, kind of like what he said. Like it's uh, MMA is actually the safest full contact sport. It's safer than boxing. I would say it's safer than, than football. It's safer than kickboxing. Um, you get less head trauma and you know you get dropped at one time and they stop, right? But in, in a street fight, you don't know what's going to happen. Some people can't take yeah. their ass whooping. Man. Yeah, or like you'd be knocked out and someone's still kicking you in the head. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, you, anything happens. Somebody somebody could have a razor, you know, a little box cut or, or a knife or a gun or, or, or a bat. I got, I got fucking jumped one time and this dude had an umbrella. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Time out. Who'd you what? get jumped by? Mary Poppins? <laughs> what you talking about? You what's, so, what's so fucking funny? Hey, he's talking about getting jumped. Guys have guns and razor blades, and you say an umbrella. Yeah, yeah, I got you didn't jumped me, one time you, at Raging Waters. The dude pulled out a boogie board. Big ass umbrella. Yeah, yeah, you, didn't, you, you didn't let me finish my fucking story. An umbrella, brother. You ain't hey, making hey, the case that you still tough. Hey, stop First being, you go from an all-star being scared, to now you're getting jumped with umbrellas. It's not a good day for you. Hey, 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 hey. 
Stop being so disrespectful. He so he this motherfucker jumped me and he had one of those umbrellas, but he used the 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 handle part and he hit somebody else over the head with it and cut it and it, it, it broke it and it, it it was sharp, man. He fucking swung that motherfucker and cut me with it. But still I, I never knew Yeah, but you ain't anything could be a motherfucking weapon though. I ain't yeah. saying that I ain't saying <laughs> I ain't saying that oh I'm tough because I got jumped with a motherfucking umbrella. That's how it came off. My bad. It just came off like you were saying, like, yo, I'm tougher than you because I, I survived an umbrella. Like I don't know. That's yeah. why, how it came off to me and D Rod. Me and D Rod were remember, texting. I remember I used to say, uh, like MMA fights remind me a little bit like fighting at, fighting at a party. You know, everybody, like when you get in a fight at a, at a house party or something, <laughs> everybody forms a circle. There's lights, bitches screaming and shit, you know, it's oh, like damn. smoke. Yeah. So it was like. Is that what the parties were like you used to go to? Yeah. You just fight in the middle of a house party? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when the fight started, of course, everybody gets out the way, you know, and starts forms a little circle. So it kind of remind me a little bit of MMA fight. Hey, 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 but Barry, he don't understand it because we used to call him Mayweather back in the day. Not, not, not because um he knew how to box, but he had like big ass bodyguards like Mayweather. So whenever he went to a party, somebody fuck with him. I know he, how to sick fight. One, he used to have like these big ass six four Samoan guys, on, and he will sick them on the motherfuckers. He I know had how like to fight. Four, four of them. He ain't never been no fight. Before. I know how to fight. I mean, I mean, you got it like that. You ain't need yeah, to fight. I didn't know how to fight. <laughs> and what am I gonna do? Rampage yeah. challenges me to fight. He's gonna eat me. Like I ain't trying to fight Rampage. Oh, that's fucked yeah, up. No. Why? What do you mean? I'm saying why, like why you, you would kill that? me. Why you got? You, is that a fat? Is that a fat joke? Are you said I'm gonna eat you. No, do I look like a pistachio or something that you want to eat? Do I look tasty? <laughs> what you talking about? Wait, <laughs> I, I, he, I, fish, hey, he fishes for compliments now. No, no, no. <laughs> I just said like you said. No, you I, just said that. No, because. I, I love watching these stupid Instagram he reels. Said a yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's looking at me like I'm tasty or something. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Call my tear suit. Now he's hungry. I got you short rib outside. Chill, fam. Hey, one thing I want to know though is I saw this this video and I I always send my videos at Rampage to see if they're good. Like he's my uh, he's my barometer if it's true or not on these fights. And this guy's getting beat with a baseball bat. And the guy's like, you never use a baseball bat if you don't know how to fight because someone stronger will grab it from you and then use it against you. Like you, if you don't know how to like fight. I don't know if this is true, but I sent it to you. I don't know. You never even responded. Because fuck you. That's why. No. <laughs> Wait, have you ever been hit with a baseball bat? Uh, yeah, I have actually. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Did you were able to grab it or did it hurt? Or did, nah, I don't know. I covered up. I was like, <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? Yeah, I feel like there's a ton of these like fights on TikTok and everybody has weapons. Well, people and, are crazy, man. Hit some, crack somebody over the head or some shit with a baseball bat. I mean. Like Damn. you'll die. Yeah, yeah, you damn. Can, yeah, yeah, you gotta watch out. You know, you gotta yeah, watch out these yeah. days. Like you can't. Yeah, street fights are a whole nother thing. There's not many. There's not many like brawls anymore. And UFC, not everybody right? gets. Not anybody gets in a street fight anymore. I haven't yeah. been in a street fight in the longest time. 